Caesar, how's it going, man? Connor Holt here again with Wilson Motor. I have another trunk now to show you. We'll kind of do this little walk around video and I'll show you the different things on this one. I personally think this is a better truck than the other one I showed you. The other one um, also has a working deal on it, but I think this is a little bit better. So let's kind of get, on, get going. I'll flip this around and we'll kind of go from there. Um, if I remember correctly, the previous owner that had this actually purchased this from us before trading it in for a brand new one. Um, and so they just, the only, the only reason they traded this in was to get a brand new one. Up here in the front, you do have halogen lights. It is a Lariat, but it is halogen lights up here in the front. You can have those switch out for LEDs if you'd like to, but now you're not gonna have people hate you, I guess, for having such bright lights. You do have the fog lights down here on the bottom as well in the bumper. Um, we still have that chrome grill here in the front. That's kind of that, that style with this, this uh, years of the truck. Like I said, we're going to have a Lariat. So you're going to have the Lariat on the left or the driver's side and the passenger side um, to let you know what kind of vehicle you're driving with trim level there. These are what the Lariat wheels look like. And as you can see on these tires, I'm pretty sure we put these tires on brand new when we got it, took it on trade. And so you got a lot of life left on those with a lot of uh, tread. Pretty aggressive off-roading tires too. So it'll be nice for there for the winter if we ever get snow. <laughs> um, other than the fact that it's dirty, here on the back, you're gonna have four backup sensors. Here you go, one, two, three, four. You've got the hitch to tow, you've got the hookups, and then you've got the spare tire locked there. Then you're gonna have the backup camera, the bed light here, and then if we drop this down, it does not currently come with a bed liner in it, but we can have a bed liner put in there for you if you are interested in that. It's about $450, I think, to get a bed liner done. Um, and we can have that done pretty easily. It does have that step in there that I showed you in that other video too. It is the EcoBoost. I believe it's a 3.5 EcoBoost. Um, there is a little damage here on the back side, it looks like. I just noticed there's a little dent here in the bumper. You got a little resting on it there in the paint spot there, but I can get just paint touch up there for that thing. Um, and then here's where your gas is going to be. It is capless again, so all you do is stick the fuel in, pull it out when it's ready, and then you're set. As long as you can deal with the cream interior, it's a pretty nice truck, I'll tell you that. So as we can see here, we have the uh, little armrest here with cup holders there. Then you're gonna have, um, if you want the seats to be able to go up, it's easy, just pull them up like that. You got a little extra storage down here. You've got the carpet floor mats. You've got pockets on the driver and passenger seat there. You pull the seat down, you pop that little guy right there and just pull it down. And you're gonna have a little bit of charging back here for those in the back. You got two USBs, you've got a 12 volt charger and then you've got cup holders right here that just fall out just like that as well. This one does also come with that additional six seat. You're gonna have the Ford code here to be able to get in and out. You can lock your keys in the vehicle. And on the mirrors, you do have the blind spot sensor right there too. Um, this is the six seat I was telling you about. So if you'd like to pull it up and have additional people work in there for you, you can have that seat there. And then going here across on just different bells and whistles on this guy. Let me turn this fan down real fast. So our different bells and whistles kind of going over the, all the features here again. We're going to have the mirror controls, your automatic folding mirrors, and then the window locks. It looks like the back two are not automatic, but the front two are automatic windows here for that. You've also got three different spots right here that you can save for different driver seats. That is going to control both the mirrors and the seat and the door locks. And your seat controls are right here on the left side. They are automatic controls there for you getting mad because it needs fuel so i'll get some fuel in here um we're gonna go here if the vehicle is off you got the the lights on the mirrors you've got your fog lights your bed light your brightness of the display and then your headlight controls right here then you've got the parking brake and then the option to be able to move that gas and, and brake pedal forward again uh, up here you're gonna have rpms on the left speed on the right all the information in the middle which you can play with and, and change at your desire there's about six different pages to look at different things there you're gonna have the the brights blinkers and the um, wipers on the left side and then you'll be able to go into gear on the right side because we know we have the six seat we don't have the console there for that it's gonna be here and then the different drive modes you push this button and you'll be able to see you've got normal tow haul snow and wet eco and sport so those are your different options there for driving there. Here, this is gonna help you how you control the center console screen there. Sorry, the, the cluster screen there. You're gonna have the uh, cruise control right here. You're gonna have your phone and media and AI assistant controls here. And this is all for the, the media with the radio and whatnot on there. Over here, you're gonna have your four wheel drive options. 
If you pull it out, you can lock that rear differential. You've got that trailer backup assist option where it will lock for you. You've got the trailer brakes. Then you're gonna have all of your media controls, your climate controls with heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger. You've got two USBs for charging, a 12 volt charger, and a place to store the phone while it's charging down here. Then up here, you're gonna have a touch screen as well to be able to play with. Then you've got the downhill assist, traction control, the hazard lights, and the auto start stop off feature. So you don't have to have that, that engine turn off for you. A little additional charging, you got a 12, 12 volt charger and a 110 outlet there too. Cup holders here in that seat. If you don't have anybody there, place to store the phone. And a little bit of center console storage. Not very much, it's pretty small, but it is there. And then over here in your glove box, you do have an owner's manual there for additional questions. You can always refer back to that. Up top, you're gonna have the controls for the sunroof. It does open all the way up. While it's opening, we'll open up that back window too. So you see that, it does open up all the way. That's with this feature there, sunroof opens up. And if you don't want it open, you can always have it closed and you can close, you can make it darker with the uh, fabric option back there too. Um, and then you've got the, the garage door fobs here and then your key because it is a push to start. Right there, you've got unlock, lock, remote start, drops the tailgate, the alarm, and here's where you're gonna push it to start the vehicle. And that is this one. Personally, I feel like this truck is a lot better than that other one that I showed you the other day. And so I think if you would, you'd be a lot happier in this truck, honestly. Um, if you have any additional questions, let me know. And we can kind of go from there. So thanks, man. Hopefully hear from you soon.